What's up guys, it's Josh with the Preset Bros and today I'm going to show you how I made this tech house place. We made the rage shake, run with coke, no champs in the rave. Crowd go mad with the bass and drops, it's a vibes in thing. No Alright guys, so that is the sound we'll be working on today. And if you don't want to miss any of our future content, hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you can become masters of your sound. We also have a free gift for you guys at the end, so definitely stay tuned for that. And without any further ado, let's jump in. Alright guys, so here is the sound we'll be learning to make. I'd also recommend maybe wearing headphones because this is a bass sound and it does have sub frequency that you don't want to miss out on. Alright guys, so just a nice, gritty, warm sounding analog tech house bass. Super simple. Let's jump right into it. So for oscillator A, we have the basic mini wavetable, negative two on the octave, wave position knob in the first position, crank that level knob to a hundred percent. Then we're going to send this guy into our filter. We're using an MG low 24 cutoff knob all the way down or at 40 Hertz. Next, we are modulating that filter with envelope two. We have an attack that's normal, hold that's normal, the decay down a little bit at 972, sustain all the way back to get that nice pluck sound. All right guys, so I do wanna to touch on LFO one. Um, and what I'm doing here is I'm actually modulating the master tune. And this is actually common in like 808 basses to get like a nice knock um, or a really interesting wobble right at the beginning of the note played. And so, um, so you guys can hear this. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this up um, two octaves and uh, we'll just get the cutoff up a little bit. And uh, I'm just gonna it, put this to the extreme so you guys can kind of hear what's going on. So this is with nothing. So you can kind of hear that um, it just has a little extra movement there and tonality difference. So that's just a really cool trick you can do on your basses or really any sound. I usually do it for my basses just to make them different from your just standard um, tech house bass. Let's go ahead and jump into the effects. So for the effects, just super simple. Kick it off with some soft clip distortion, the drive at 40, the mix at 61. For a compression, nothing crazy here. I do have a gain boost of 9 dB, a little bit of hyper dimension, and this is something I like to do on my basses just to make them a little more like analog sounding. And the last thing I did was I dipped out a frequency range around 250, just by like five dBs, uh, just didn't think it was pleasant. And that's it guys, just uh, another really solid tech house base you guys can add to your arsenal. I hope you learned something, I hope you got inspired. Um, I did mention we had a free gift for you guys and the free gift is this preset. So if you wanna head to the description, we have a download link for you guys. Also, if you enjoyed this sound, we have a whole pack of uh, Tech House Serum presets. It's called Tech House Volume 1. Uh, it's on our website. There's a description down below. And if you want to hear any of these other sounds in this production right here, maybe that intro bass or some of the brass stabs or something like that, put a comment down below. I'd love to make a video on how I made those sounds as well. Also guys, if you like the serum skin that I'm using in this video, we have a special on our website where if you buy one of our packs, you get this serum skin completely free. So go to our website and check that out. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, stay creative. We make the rage shake. Run with coke, no champs in the rave. Crowd go mad with the baseline drops. It's a vibes in thing. No go go, it's a drop. We make the rage shake. This one here will make your face change. You feel the bass weight. Enter the room, put on your screw face. Ah.